Hi, my name is Troy Biko, Horticulture Specialist with Premier Tech. In this video, I want to talk to you about our ProMix HPO. But first, let's start with a couple of questions. Do you need a certified organic growing media that's high in air porosity and dries out well that can be designed for herbs, vegetables, flowering plants? Do you also want performance and the watering of a conventional peat-based growing media that's designed for high porosity? If you answer yes to these questions, Promix HPO probably will help you with that. So first of all, the applications. Promix HPO, HPO standing for High Air Porosity Organic Growing Media, is designed for flowering annuals, vegetables, herbs, small fruit that's grown in either pots, hanging baskets, large containers, or planters. You can also use the Promix HPO for the propagation of cuttings of these same crops. Promix HPO is listed with Omri US, so it can be used for certified organic growing within the United States. Promix HPO is formulated with 55 to 65 percent Canadian sphagnum peat moss, core fiber, which helps with water absorption, especially considering peat moss can be a bit hydrophobic. We put in perlite, which in increases drainage and also increases the air porosity of the growing media. An organic wetting agent to help the peat wet up and absorb water. We put in calcitic lime to bring the pH into a range of 5.2 to 6.2, but typically it usually lands somewhere between 5.4 and 5.9. One thing I will say is that this product does not contain any starter fertilizer charge. So we recommend beginning fertilization at the point of planting. Now the features of the ProMix HPO, there's basically four of them. First, it has a high air porosity as we mentioned earlier. So crops that don't like to be wet or have wet feet, uh, this would be an ideal product for. Also, if you have conditions where you have short days, low light, high humidity, this product works out very well. Second, the ProMix um, HPO comes with two active ingredients. The first, or the first one would be mycorrhizae. Mycorrhizae is a natural endomycorrhizal fungus that acquires extra water and nutrients for the plant. Nutrients include things such as phosphorus, copper, manganese, and zinc. And essentially the mycorrhizae can grow out into the growing media where the plant roots are not present. Second, it also helps to secrete enzymes that further break down complex organic fertilizers to release nutrients so the mycorrhizae can bring it back to the plant. The second active ingredient is the biofungicide, which is a natural bacterium called Bacillus pumilus PTB180. It helps to suppress root disease organisms such as Fusarium, Pythium, and Rhizoctonia, which are generally difficult to control with organic options. Third, it's compost free. So that allows for high air space, which the product already has in it, which can induce faster drying. And it also serves as an easier transition when going from a conventional mix to organic since the watering and pH management are very similar. We do add perlite, which also further increases the airspace, which would normally be lost if you added a compost product to, to a product like this. There's less damping off because the dry down rate's a little bit faster as well. Fourth, we add core that helps improve the wettability in case the wetting agent gets broken down or leached. Tips when using the ProMix HPO. Consider that an organic growing media is different from a conventional in two basic ways. First, the fertilizer elements are harder for the plant to obtain until there's been a buildup of natural microorganisms to help break down those organic compounds, which then can release the nutrients for the plant to be able to take up. We do recommend beginning fertilization at planting, not only because the mix doesn't have a starter fertilizer charge, but this will help feed the microorganisms that can build up and break down those natural organic materials and release those elements. Second is we incorporate an organic wetting agent. It's not quite as effective, so its shelf life is a little bit shorter. So we recommend looking at using the product up within four months. If it happens to wet slowly, you can simply apply another organic wetting agent, or you can pre-moisten the growing media before planting, but try to avoid significant dry down as it might impede wet, you know, future wettability. Now natural microbes are responsible for the breakdown of the wetting agent and some of the starter fertilizer charge, and that's what brings the shelf life to about four months. Thank you.